Hi, today I will introduce basic level course, several topics and my today's first point is view documents. View documents, there are several ways to change how a document contents are displayed on a screen using the preset documents view. You can also zoom in or out to view more less of the page at a time and view multiple documents at once. Change document view. Click the view tab. Select a view. Read mode only search necessary toolbars. Making room for enlarged text and navigational tools. This view read only, so you won't be able to make edits. Print layout view displays your documents as it will appear when printed. It's best for working in the documents with advanced formatting. Web layout view shows backgrounds, wraps text to fit inside the window and positions graphics just as they are in a web browser outline views display your document in classic outline form draft view works well for most simple word processing tasks such as typing editing and simple formatting does not display advanced formatting such as page boundaries headers and footers or floating pictures just the tips and tricks you can quickly access read mode print layout and web layout views from the view buttons in the status bar zoom sometimes it is helpful to make a document appear larger on the computer's screen especially if you have a small monitor or poor eyesight it can also be helpful to zoom out so that you can see how the whole document looks click the zoom in or zoom out buttons on the status bar the page zooms in or out click the drag the zoom slider to adjust the zoom level Using the zoom slider is more precise way to adjust the zoom on your document. Click on of the option in the zoom group on the view tab of the ribbon to control the zoom level further. Click the zoom button to open the zoom dialog box where you can specify a zoom level. Click the 100% button on the view tab to return your document to viewing at 100%. Click the one page button to zoom the document out so that one entire page is visible in the window. Click the multiple page buttons to see multiple full pages side by side. Click the page width button to automatically zoom the document in so that the page fills the window side to side. Show or hide formatting symbols. Every document is filled with hidden formatting symbols that help control how the text is laid out on the page. New paragraph, carriage return, tabs, space and page breaks can be seen, selected, moved, and deleted. Viewing these formatting symbols lets you see where you may have added extra space between Microsoft Words, for example, or whether spaces or tab stops were used to indent text. Click the Home tab, click the Show Hide icon, the height formatting symbols are now shown. These symbols represent space, new paragraphs, 
page breaks and other bits to text and page formatting. Click the show height button again. The symbols are hidden once again. The shortcut key is Ctrl plus start to display or hide the formatting symbols. By using these tools and shortcuts, you can save time and work more efficiently when editing and formatting your documents.